All right, we're rolling again. So, for whatever reason, I just I just tried to go back to one valve to simplify things and to make it easier to sort of adjust the ram height in case I'm using tools. Like I've been trying to, you know, pierce hammer eyes and stuff like that. <clears throat> anyway, it just seized up and stopped working. I can't figure it out for the life of me. But now that it's back here, It's a scary machine, but that seems to hit pretty hard now again, and it's working again. Except for it's slightly possessed. Um, but yeah. I don't like how it moves after I take my foot off the pedal. It's still creeping. But uh, <clears throat> anyway, yeah, it's uh, it's got the magic uh, bungee cords. Uh, this is my high quality rocker ramp for that. And this one's just operated by hitting here. So sometimes that works, sometimes it doesn't. I have, I have a pressure sort of needle valve thing on the uh, upstroke so that it can vary the pressure. Let me show you that. Anyway, the whole thing to me jiggles a lot and sort of rattles from side to side, which isn't awesome. It means that the valve will certainly, uh, or this cylinder will certainly fail at some point here in the near future, but it's working. I'm back at it. If I have, uh, I gotta go out and get a couple more things for a new burner. I'm trying to make the old uh, frosty T here, like this. Uh, trying to get more heat from the setup that I've got. Get that guy. But I've also got this, so I might just burn some uh, charcoal today if I get some time. And there we go. Okay, cheers. See you, la see you later.